hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to convert percentage into letter grades using excel vlookup i have a video on vlookup and i'm going to leave the link at the description of this tutorial so you can try and see how best that is going to work for you so we're going to have the score and then based on the score we're going to get the grades for the subjects that we have over here and we're going to base that on this defined range for every grade so when you get from 49 down to zero you should be getting f and then when you get 50 that's 50 up to somewhere around 64 you should be getting a d and in that order so we're going to use vlookup to generate this based on the result you get so when you update the score over here let's say i've changed this score to somewhere around 76 then you can see automatically it's going to change the grade for us so we're going to use vlookup to do this so let me go ahead and then just clear this from here so you want to basically get a grade for this particular subject over here so you can put in any number at all of your choice i'm going to use vlookup to do this this is just a table i'm going to base my lookup on so you can create this you can just pull these figures anywhere you can generate your own score that you want you can define your own range and can you the same formula to do this remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so let's jump right into action and see how we can use vlookup to get the grade that's the letter grade for our students so within this particular cell that's the grade so we're going to type equal to and i will type v vlookup so you realize that anytime you type the vlookup it's going to give you a range we need a lookup value the table array that does the column index and then what the range lookup so our first value is what the lookup value and we're going to ch check that from our score tab okay we need that from the the score column okay we need that from the score column and then you need to bring a comma after a comma we need what the table array and the table array is what we've defined over here so you just have to select the entire range this way and you have to press f4 on your keyboard because you want to freeze this particular cell okay this particular column where we the range because we want it to be what static it shouldn't change so press f4 on your keyboard and it's going to add some dollar sign to this as simple as that and then bring a comma again now the next step is the column index number the grade is in column two from our table over right here the grade we want to get is from the second column so bring the number two and lastly this is very important that's the we want to define the range lookup so this is either going to be so this is either going to be true or false so depending on what you want you would either select false true or false in our case the figures over here, we don't want the exact match so we're going to select what true because if someone score let's say someone score 85 and above maybe 86 the person should be getting a as well if the person should get even 100 the person should be getting what a as well if over here there's 75 the person should be getting a b all the way up to what 84 so we are not going to select the exact match go ahead and then close this and then hit enter you can see we are not getting what a so when you select the this is going to give you basically the grade for this if i change this to even 90 i should be getting a in order to get that for the rest you just drag this down just drag this and it's going to apply to the rest it's automatically going to update the rest so somebody getting 45 which is basically less than 40 that should be what f if i should update this to 50 it's going to change this to a d so you can see basically how the v lookup is going to work i have a video on basically how to automate a score sheet but i use the e formula which is quite complex and i believe this is quite simple i'm going to redesign a new automated score sheet using this strategy so subscribe turn on post notifications so when i upload that you'll get less i'm going to redesign everything using this simple strategy and this is going to make everything simple for us so like come your way again bye bye